Hello, once again, Kenny Jacobs from Bloomington, Illinois. I'm a PGA teaching professional, and my videos talk both about the game of golf as well as being a Christian and living in the last days. I want to give you a little bit more help with the outside in, over the top swing. And this one's kind of a, a mental picture or a visualization that will really help you picture the right swing path. We've all seen field goal kickers in football kick a field goal several times on TV. And if you watch them, they come in from the side of the golf ball and kick in a circular motion like that. They don't come straight on anymore. They kick what kind of what we call soccer style. So they come from the inside of the, of the ball and the right leg swings in a circular motion and kicks the golf ball, or excuse me, kicks the football. And you can see the ball tend to draw a little bit. It goes a little bit right to left. And that's kind of what we want for your ball flight when you hit a golf shot. So if you can picture that, which we've all seen that over and over on TV and football, if you can picture that path of the kicker's leg going in a circular motion and turning over, the shaft of your golf club is the kicker's leg and the side of your foot, excuse me, the club face is, the, is like the side of the kicker's foot. So you want to swing the shaft from the inside in a circular motion and rotate the club face through to the left, just like the kicker does with his leg and his foot. When you're swinging outside in and too steep, it's very much like trying to chop down across this way, and you couldn't kick a field goal pulling your leg back across your body. It has to swing out and around. So should the golf club. The club comes down from the inside and rotates over. A great way to also practice that is to take something like a partially filled plastic water bottle or something and put it about a foot and a half behind your golf ball on your target line and then practice swinging down inside that bottle and hit some golf balls without swinging around and hitting that bottle. So you should come down, in, we call it in the slot, where the club comes down a little bit closer to you and from the inside. It goes inside out and rotates. If you come outside in over the top of the ball and hit a lot of pulls and slices and pop-ups, that drill will really help you. All right. Now, I also want to go over something that was in the news yesterday. It should kind of wake people up a little bit. The title of the article is United States Postal Service Announces Giant Ammo Purchase. Why does our post office need to be purchasing ammunition? It goes on to say that the United States Postal Service intends to solicit proposals for assorted small arms ammunition and it also mentioned a deadline of February 10th. <clears throat> What's interesting is it's not just that division of the government, but it says since 2001, the U.S. Department of Education has been building a massive arsenal through purchases orchestrated by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. The Education Department has spent over $80,000 so far on Glock pistols, and over 17,000 on Remington shotguns. And then, get this, back in July of this past year, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration also purchased 72,000 rounds of 40 caliber Smith & Wesson ammunition, following a purchase of, in 2012 of 46,000 rounds of 40 caliber hollow points by the National Weather Service. Also, there's been mass purchases by the Department of Homeland Security of an estimated amount of over 2 billion rounds of ammunition in the past two years. 2 billion rounds of ammunition. Why are all of these government agencies that aren't necessarily, none of them other than possibly the uh, Department of Homeland Security, are military agencies. Our government agencies are up to some very sinister things. And I think they're hoping that American people are too asleep to notice. But I'm going to keep sounding the alarm. And thankfully we have guys like Glenn Beck and Alex Jones and Alex Jones and some others out there in the news media that are sounding the alarm and, and getting this word out. We are living in perilous times. And I would like to know why government agencies like 
the Oceanic Agency, and the United States Post Postal Service needs to be armed. What is the government preparing for? Are they expecting the dollar to collapse and society to break down? Are they going to do some sort of false flag attack on America to help bring in martial law? Something's up. And it's time we all wake up and pay a lot closer to attention to what is going on in our government as well as around the world. I keep reporting on America trying to force Israel to divide the land and give up land that God gave them. And all this stuff is coming together right now, right at the time that we're trying to get this peace agreement to, to be signed sometime in April or a little bit after. And it's interesting that the government is seem seemingly preparing for something major, some sort of unrest to happen right around this same time. We're living in very interesting, very... Very dangerous, but very interesting times. Jesus is coming back soon. Keep looking up. Let's be ready.